My name is uh, Dr. Morris Washington. I'm the director of bariatric surgery at East Cooper Medical Center in Mount Pleasant, and I'm delighted to be here to talk to you about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, weight loss surgery. Here at East Cooper Medical Center, we have a comprehensive bariatric uh, surgery program with a team that consists of uh, many nurses and physician extenders, as well as a registered dietitian to support you through your weight loss surgery journey. Obesity is uh, not understood by uh, most people. And believe it or not, it's not even understood by uh, most physicians. Uh, most people and most physicians believe that obesity is something that is under your control, that it's basically a matter of willpower, and that if you had good willpower, you could lose the weight. All you have to do is uh, eat less and exercise. Nothing could be further from the truth because your body has a weight set point that it tries to stay at no matter how hard you try to lose the weight. And it will fight you at every turn to regain any weight that you lose with diet and exercise. And it does that by one, increasing your hunger, and then slowing your metabolism. And that weight thermostat in people that are overweight is basically broken. It's like having a thermostat in a house that is set to 75 degrees, but basically makes the house 85. And the same thing you know, applies to weight. When that weight thermostat is broken, it's gonna regulate you at this new higher weight and tenaciously try its best to return you to whatever weight you were no matter how hard you try to lose weight through diet and exercise. Bariatric surgery has been shown to be both safe and the only effective way to treat obesity. Diet and exercise and all, all of the weight loss uh, surgery programs that we're familiar with, non-surgical weight loss programs, are only 5% successful. And weight loss surgery uh, is, has been the only um, treatment for this disease, and obesity is a disease, uh, that, that treats it successfully. Now there are basically, you know, three weight loss uh, surgery options that are available today. And I'm going to start with the uh, most common one. The most common uh, weight loss surgery done today uh, in the United States and worldwide, probably accounting for over 75% of weight loss operations is the sleeve gastrectomy. And the sleeve gastrectomy basically uh, makes your stomach into a thin banana-sized tube um, and removes approximately 75 to 80% of your stomach. Now, the sleeve gastrectomy um, you know, uses uh, stapling technology and um, a lot of people, when they think of staples, they think of either the big skin staples that are used to close the skin sometimes in operations, or they think of paper staples. But these are very, very fine, tiny little titanium staples, only a fraction of the size of a paper staple. And using these, uh, this instrument, which staples and divides the stomach, we're actually able to create a new stomach for you that's very, very thin and, and, uh, and slender, like the size of a banana. So the sleeve works in really two ways. One, it decreases the capacity of your stomach so that when you eat, you get full quicker. But also, it removes a hormone called ghrelin, which is, to a large extent, responsible for your appetite. And by removing that portion of the stomach that produces ghrelin, um, patients after sleep gastrectomy tell us that not only do they get full faster with smaller meals, but also their appetite is uh, markedly reduced. The gastric bypass operation, you know, considered the gold standard by some because the actual first gastric bypass was done in the uh, 1960s. And it's been done for a long time. Of course, you know, we're able to do these operations laparoscopically now which means we do them through tiny little incisions so you don't have any uh, big cuts and you're able to go home, you know, usually the next day. 
Um, but the gastric bypass has been done around done for a long time. It probably accounts today for about 18 to 20 percent of weight loss operations done. And basically, what it does is it creates a small pouch in the upper portion of your stomach. That um, so when you eat, that small pouch gets full quicker. But it also rearranges your intestines in such a manner that some of the food that you do eat doesn't get absorbed. So the gastric bypass operation we call both a restrictive operation and a malabsorptive operation. The lap band, which at one time was the most common operation done uh, in the United States today, is probably around 1 to 2 percent of weight loss surgeries done today. It's not as common as it used to be, mainly because it didn't work well for everyone. But I still offer it you know, as part of our program because it is a very good um, treatment for people who are in what we call the class one obesity range. And that's basically, uh, we go according to body mass index, which is your height divided by your weight. But someone that's, let's say, roughly, to give you an idea, maybe 50 pounds overweight, and they want a very simple, very safe, and reversible operation, you know, it's the lap band. And the lap band basically just goes around the upper portion of your stomach, and it creates um, a little, I call it like a little speed bump, so that when you eat, the food doesn't go quickly into your stomach. It gets held up above the band, making you feel full faster, and therefore making you eat slower, and that's how it uh, helps you lose the weight. The lap band, however, you know, does require a lot of follow-up, and uh, most patients with the lap band are seen in the office for the first year for a month, and the weight loss is a lot slower than some of the other operations that I've already spoken about. Um, but if you're in that uh, weight range where you're only maybe 50 pounds overweight and you want a very safe, reversible uh, option for weight loss, then the lap band can also work for you. You know, weight loss surgery goes beyond just losing weight. Weight loss surgery really cures many of the illnesses that are associated uh, with obesity that many people suffer from. In the majority of patients, we can get rid of type 2 diabetes. We can improve or get rid of a hypertension. It works well uh, for infertility. Um, patients that have severe osteoarthritis where their knees and back and hips hurt, that markedly improves. So the, the, the benefit of weight loss surgery goes beyond just the weight. It also makes you uh, healthier. To qualify for weight loss surgery really goes according to something we call the NIH criteria. And they use something called body mass index. And basically body mass index is your, is your um, weight divided by your height. And you don't really have to calculate it, uh, be, the formula, because there's uh, body, mass body mass index charts that you can actually just find your weight and your height and it will tell you. Most insurance companies require if your BMI is between 35 and 40 for you to really have a serious associated what we call comorbid comorbidity, like diabetes or uncontrolled hypertension or obstructive sleep apnea. If your BMI is above 40, you can be perfectly healthy and still have weight loss surgery. As a weight loss surgeon, though, you know, we will do weight loss surgeries down to patients with a BMI of 30, particularly if they have diabetes, because we know that diabetes is such a bad disease to have and we can cure it with weight loss surgery. However, for those patients that have you know, diabetes and BMIs between 30 and 35. Unfortunately, insurance doesn't cover that yet, but we are uh, working on that to see if we can uh, get that covered because as bariatric surgeons, we feel there's a real need for that. There are many bariatric surgery programs uh, that you can choose from, but why choose East Cooper Bariatric Surgery Program? Well, one, you know, our program, you know, we treat you like family. We understand that, first of all, it's a big step for you to take to actually uh, call and uh, make an appointment to see you know, a weight loss surgeon. We understand that most patients actually um, spend 
two to three years contemplating picking up the phone and calling a weight loss surgery practice. So that when you do call, we understand that and we try to get you into the office as quickly as possible. Um, we, we, we have a lot of empathy for this disease. You'll be part of our, our family, uh, our extended bariatric family. And we understand that we will get you to the, we will try to get you to the surgery as quickly and as safely as possible. In addition, you know, you'll be our patient forever. Weight loss surgery isn't the type of surgery, let's say for a gallbladder, where you have your gallbladder out, you go see the surgeon, everything's fine and you never see him again. We're gonna follow you forever. Uh, we have these support groups uh, to uh, support you uh, through this process and, for, and forever on. So we look forward to seeing you. You can just call our office or visit our uh, website, and we'd love to uh, have you as our patient. Thank you.